Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from surface areas and volumes chapter and it is taken from CBC class 10 2024-25 sample question paper for mathematics standard with subject code 041 section E where each question is of 4 marks. Now this question has 3 sub questions. The first one is for 1 mark, the second question is of 1 mark and the third sub question is of 2 marks and it has an OR question as well that is either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So let us start with the first question now. Metallic silos are used by farmers for storing grains. Farmer Girdhar has decided to build a new metallic silo to store his harvested grains. It is in the shape of a cylinder mounted by a cone. The dimensions of the conical part of the silo is Radius of the base is 1.5 meters, height is 2 meters and the dimensions of the cylindrical part of a silo is Radius is 1.5 meters and the height is 7 meters. On the basis of the above information, answer the following questions. So the first question is, calculate the slant height of the conical part of one silo. So let us try to understand the question first. Farmers use metallic silos. It looks somewhat like this. So these are the metallic silos which farmers use to store the grains. And they are in the shape of a cylinder mounted by a conical part. Now here in this question we need to find out what is the slant height of this conical part. So let me draw the cone separately over here. So this is how the conical part looks. Now the height of the cone in the question is given as 2 meters as we can see here. And the radius of the base is 1.5 meters. So here the base of this cone, we have marked its radius as 1.5 meters. Now here we need to find out the slant height of this cone. So here we can see that this forms a right angle triangle. That is H is the perpendicular height and R is the base. So here L represents the hypotenuse. So here we have redrawn this and shown it as a right angle triangle. Now we can use the Pythagoras theorem to find out the slant height. So let us write here. Using Pythagoras theorem, we have the hypotenuse square that is slant height square is equal to the perpendicular height square plus the radius square. Now here sending this two on the other side of equal to sign, it turns into a square root. So L will be equal to square root of H square plus R square. Now here we have to just plug in the value of H and R. So we get 2 square plus 1.5 square. Next, 2 square we get it as 4 and 1.5 square is 2.25 so adding these two numbers we get square root of 6.25 and square root of 6.25 is 2.5 so the slant height of this conical shape is 2.5 meters now let us move on to the second sub question find the curved surface area of the conical part of one silo so let us consider the cone we had drawn in part 1 of this question. So this was the perpendicular height 2 meters, R was the radius 1.5 meters and the slant height we had got as 2.5 meters. Now since we have to find out the curved surface area of a cone, the formula is pi times radius times the slant height. So here we have to just plug in the values of R and L. So we get, so pi is written as 22 over 7. The radius is 1.5 meters and the slant height is 2.5 meters. So by calculation, we get the value of the curved surface area of a cone as 11.78 meter square. Now let us move on to the third sub question. Find the cost of metal sheet used to make the curved cylindrical part of one silo at the rate of 2000 rupees per meter square. The dimensions of the cylindrical part is radius is 1.5 meters and height is 7 meters. So here if we consider the silo, we are focusing on the cylindrical part. We have to find out the cost of metal sheet used to make this entire curved surface area of a silo given the fact that for 1 meter square it costs 2000 rupees. And here it is given that the radius of the cylinder is 1.5 meters and the height is 7 meters. So we have shown it over here. So let us begin by writing the curved surface area formula for a cylinder first. The formula for curved surface area of cylinder is 2 times pi times r times h where r represents the radius of the cylinder and h its height. So here we have to just plug in the values of r and h. So we have 2 times the pi is taken as 22 over 7. 
times 1.5 times 7. Now here 7 and 7 divides each other. So we are left with 2 times 22 times 1.5 which gives us a value of 66 meter square. So the curved surface area of the cylinder is 66 meter square. So let us find out how much is the cost. So we write here. So for 1 meter square curved surface area, the cost was 2000 rupees. So for 66 meter square, we have taken the cost as x rupees. So here we have to simply cross multiply the terms. That is 66 multiplies with 2000 and 1 multiplies with x. So we get 1 times x is equal to 2000 times 66. So the cost of metal sheet used for 66 meter square of curved surface area is 1,32,000 rupees. Now let us move on to the OR question. Find the total capacity of one silo to store grains. Now when they mention the total capacity, we have to find out the actual volume of one silo. And the silo is made up of the cylinder and the cone. So let me draw here. So this is the silo. It is made up of the cylinder and the cone. And the height of the cone was given as 2 meters and height of cylinder as 7 meters. So we have considered the height of cone as H1 and height of cylinder as H2. So for the total capacity, we need to find out the volume of the cone and add it with the volume of cylinder. So let me write here. So total capacity of one silo is the volume of the cone plus the volume of cylinder. The formula for volume of cone is 1 over 3 pi r square H1 plus the volume of the cylinder is pi r square H2 where r represents the radius of the cone as well as the cylinder. So this radius is acting as a common radius to the cone as well as cylinder. So let us just plug in the values of r, h1 and h2 in the formula. So here we have the volume of cone as 1 over 3 times the pi is 22 over 7 times the radius is 1.5 square times the height of cone is 2 meters plus pi is 22 over 7 again times the radius of the cylinder is 1.5 square times the height of the cylinder is 7. Now simplifying the volume of cone, we get it as 4.71 plus the volume of cylinder is 49.5. Now when we add these two numbers, we get the total volume or total capacity of one silo as 54.21 meter cube. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then you can click on these playlists where you will find more examples of these kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.